Do you guys know what today is? Warning Wednesday! <laughs> Feliz Miércoles! Wait, 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 what did I just say? Feliz Warning Miércoles! Miércoles, yeah. yeah, yeah. Happy Warning Miércoles, my friends. Yeah. The Warning Army, everybody out there. Hope you guys are feeling fabulous today. I'm feeling absolutely wonderful. Yeah, I know. For many reasons. Why? Tell me. One is because, first of all, this is a donation request from the Rockstar Chaz. Thank you, Chaz. So really happy about that. Mm -hmm. uh, also, y'all might see that, you know, I'm representing my Ravens today. Always. You know, mm -hmm. well, you know, Always, yes, but you know what? Always. Today's a special day because tomorrow starts the NFL season and my Ravens play the first game of the season. And on top of that, being Thursday, September 5th, it's my birthday. Yeah, so my baby. Happy tomorrow, birthday. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow's my birthday. My Ravens are going to beat the Chiefs' asses. I sure <laughs> hope so. I hope so, too. We I got the making of the Warnings album, Error. Yeah, this is going to be fun because it's six episodes, May Day in the Making, and it's the showing how they did the Error, the evolution of making the Error album. So... 12 songs, six videos. Yep. And I love this because you get to see that behind the, the scenes look at the girls, their family. I mean, I hope, I don't know, but it's I'm always nice to see the yeah. behind the scenes stuff, you yeah. know? And, and so th this is a six part series. And what we're going to do is we're going to break this up amongst two warning miracle laces. <laughs> miracle laces? Everybody knows what you mean. Yeah, but how do you say plural miracle lace in Spanish? I, I think people just say Miraculous. <laughs> okay, so we're going to split know. this up yeah. this week and next week. So mm -hmm. the first three are today, and next week you'll get the next three. So I can't wait to see this. Yeah. And, and you know, the girls are going to look really young because this was a little bit ago. I know. You know what I mean? I can't so, wait. I, oh. I can't wait for all of it. And lastly, the meetup in Pomona is starting to take shape, my yeah, friends. Yeah, it's my coming up. My friends. It feels like we've been talking about it for a while, but like it's actually coming around the corner. But that's how life is, right? That always happens. And, and, and since it's my birthday, I'm going to tell y'all a little bit about it. The meetup will actually be on the day of the show. Okay. In the afternoon, very close to the venue. So, that you know, nobody's going to miss anything. There yeah. will be more details coming. So stand by. But just to let you know, the meetup will be on the 8th, the mm -hmm. day of the show. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Someplace so, close to the venue, as far as I know. So anyways, let's get on with the with with the reaction. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> there were just some things to get through, but now right. we're going to do it. Let's, I'm ready. Let's get, I'm into, ready. It. Let's get ready, ready to it. All right. May Day in the making. Pelo bien. Primero. We're ready. Look out, yeah. Oh, the nombres individuals and the band. Okay, okay, okay. No. Hi, Hi, we're, we're the, the warning. warning. I'm Daniela. Okay, yeah, that makes a lot of okay. sense. Hi, I'm Daniela. I'm Paulina. I'm Alejandra. And we are the, the warning. warning. It's funny to hear them say their full name. I know, like, I gotta go back. Yeah, okay, yeah. I that gotta hear Danny. Hi, I'm Daniela. I'm Paulina. I'm Alejandra. Daniela, wow. the warning. Paulina, Alejandra. Yep. Look at that. This third album, I can oh my honestly God. say with a lot of confidence, yep. is that it's the best thing that we've ever done. The new album, uh -uh. how to describe it, it's the warning on steroids. They can all play their instruments like no one I've ever seen. If you listen to this album, you know this is a rock band. It's not a female rock band or a young rock band. This is a rock band. That's awesome. Yeah. And then they brought mm. the demos. I was like, you guys are kidding me. It's like, do you ever write a bad song? No. It's at another level. The warning at another level. And we've now have Keep Me Fed. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, they look so little. Working on the album with David and Rick was a little bit nerve-wracking at first because we know what we want to hear. I was really nervous that David was going to be like, no, I hate all of this and <laughs> let's do something different. Like we were prepared to fight <laughs> over our songs. <laughs> we literally told them like, we are super peaky. Peaky, sorry, peaky. <laughs> you see how far you can push day one. 
and you started to talk about a song I didn't like. I said, I don't like this song. And I had three girls Ooh. right up in my face. Good. Together. Good. I'm proud for them. I'm just trying to look at the outboard gear there behind them real quick. Oh, of course. Yeah. While he's looking at his thing. I'm proud of them. Good for them for standing their ground. You know, they go in there and they're, they have all these executives and it can be intimidating, but they like stuck to their ground. I yeah, love it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Look at that guy climbing the wall. I like that. That's cool. And they talk in Spanish. Mm -hmm. It's somewhere between uh, like the buddy system and gang mentality, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, they uh, they travel in a pack. Yeah, <laughs> like a like a gang of of, of lionesses, mm -hmm. like an army. The prey, the warning army. Yeah, I don't mess think with them. that if we were not sisters, like this would have fallen apart so quickly. Having three girls being amazing, talented mm -hmm. musicians at such a young age, and then having those three girls be sisters and so connected, that doesn't happen. I can't believe they're my daughter. Like, Pause, please. Well, I have to take an appreciation moment for the parents, okay? Luis and Monica. I don't I don't get to see them enough. Moni is how they call them. Moni. Mom, right? Yep. Okay, so first impressions, Danny looks just like her dad, right? Danny, doesn't Danny look just like the dad in yep. the face? I see it. And you yep. can see all three of their girls in both of the parents, you know, which you think, okay, like, duh. But sometimes genetics aren't clear cut like that, right? But I see all three of them in those two totally. so much. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Oh, I love seeing the parents. I feel like they're our family. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi. That, that happened how? Can you rewind, Being sorry. Band with your Sisters and so connected. That doesn't happen. I can't believe that my daughter, like, one moment that, that happened how? Being in Aww. a band with your family is great. We experience everything as a family that it'd be weird, like, to experience it so alone little. and then come to my family, like, oh my God, this happened. No, it's like a thing. It happened to all of us. It always happens to all of us. I'm used to being in a a room for three months with a band. This instance, I've never experienced it before. I've never had the parents in the studio. Right. And then their manager came. Yep. Now I've got the guardians. Yep. I definitely didn't get to be me because I usually swear like a trooper and say all sorts of inappropriate things in the studio. On their best behavior. See, that's, that's something that all sound engineers know and have to deal with what like working with crews like crew and family you know what i mean mm -hmm. like you have to read the room and and this is one of the things that we were talking about when i was speaking at the uh the grad panel at the the engineering school that i went to yeah i went to speak to the students and that's one of the things that i was telling them is you have to be able to read the room you have to know how to conduct yourself. There are some times where you can swear like a sailor because the artist you're with is like so cool yeah. and they make you feel comfortable, you make them feel comfortable. And they talk like that. And, and then it's sense. just it's just a vibe and you, you can see that. And some people, like I, I've had some interns and some people where it was just awkward and they didn't really know how to act. Yeah. And no one is gonna wanna be around people that don't know how to yeah. handle themselves, yeah. you know? So like when he's saying that, like I feel that because every time I do a gig, it's always like, who are these people and how do I need to be in order to make sure everyone feels good, yeah. you know? So it's it's funny to hear that because we don't do a lot of stuff where we are hearing engineers talk. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. Good, it's emotional intelligence, really. Definitely, mm -hmm. situational intelligence. This instance, I've never experienced it before. I've never had the parents in the studio. And then their manager came. That was another thing that it, I don't mean to stop all the time, but it just reminded me because at that same um, at the school when I was talking, I had to speak to a lot of parents, too. And parents were asking me about being an engineer and what it's like in the industry. And one of the big questions I had to keep answering was how much money can can their kids make? You oh. know, like because they're <laughs> they're interested in coming to the school, you know, and I'm sitting there talking to parents. It's just so funny to hear this. And I'm just thinking about talking to parents and having to be this way. But with like a major band, yeah. I can't even imagine what yeah. that's like. I like, know. It's gotta that's, be hard. That's gotta be crazy. Yeah. This instance, I've never experienced it before. I've never had the parents in the studio. And then their manager came. Now I've got the guardians. I definitely didn't get to be me because I usually swear like a trooper and say all sorts of I feel like I've heard this like five times already now. Oh, and one more thing. You better not. Yeah, I've never experienced anything like that. And I probably 
never will again the rest of my career. Mm. Great selection. You know, they're they're going to they're going to get where they want to go. They strike me as workaholics, and uh, and they're on a mission. I mean, this is this is their dream, this is their destiny, and they're going to do it. I hope they take their it easy. Their best work yet. And that's not just because they're our daughters. That's an amazing feeling. A big, big accomplishment for them. Aww. They've been through David Bendeth boot camp. What was he just? Can you pause? Yeah. What was he yeah. just doing to the neck of her guitar? I think he was holding it because. What when you're just... when you're playing certain notes and if you're drop tuned pretty low or something not not pretty low but sometimes when you detune a guitar and you hit an open string or something like that yeah you'll get a buzzing sound you know like i don't oh, have you seen people yeah. with like things wrapped around the top of their yeah, guitars yeah 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 you know I it's understand. to stop the fret buzz okay. or the string buzz or string noise thanks that's helpful mm -hmm. i've never seen it done like this before More like a synth. But it was going to Gang vocals. I love seeing this. That's what that was. Mm. What they were doing. Yeah. Wow. Sing it. What a performance. Wow. <laughs> I wonder if this was scratch vocals or Somebody. why she's not in a booth. What special voice you have. I hold a certain standard to the records I make. Of course, they, they're, they've almost earned a rite of passage in the sense that they played on their record everything. That's all them, you know? Me, yes. They did it, they played it, they killed it. When we started working with David, we just took it to like a whole new level. And we're so happy with the result. And I'm just super, super excited for it to be public and for people to listen to it and hear what people have got to say. Because I am so proud of what we did. Yeah. So proud. You should be. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, I just love these girls so oh, much. Oh, that was the end. This went fast. That, okay. That did go fast. That did. Oh. It's just automatically playing Look at for that. Us. Part hey, two. Thank you. Well, there we go. Yeah, so we have two more to go. Yes, I love this. It's like watching like a movie with your besties. This is so yeah, fun. Yeah, this was really cool. And yeah. It was fun to see. Like, I like how seeing David talk about what it was like having them first come in. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like it was kind of like the beginning and like getting to know each other. Yeah. Getting to know you. <laughs> I like that. That was really cool. Yeah, I know. And it, it's interesting to see the process, right? Like we see the end result usually, but the behind the scenes. And I feel like that some of that, we, I think we've seen glimpses of from like maybe their 10 year anniversary vlog that we did, like David in particular. I feel like some of that was familiar yeah. and I know we haven't seen this. Yeah, so, super cool. Yeah, it was just fun to see that. And seeing the parents and then hearing the music, it actually reminds me that we really need to go back and listen to this air. Definitely. The way that I have such an appreciation after the Keep Me Fed live stream that we did to hear everything sequentially in the order it's supposed to be in, I really feel like we need to do that with with the past but see, album, now, the Queen of the is, Murder scene too. This is saying Mayday EP, not Error. So yeah, some the of these songs were on Error. Were, were some of the songs that were on the Mayday EP, did they not all make it to Error or what? Let us know, please, because I don't know. Sometimes you do an EP and like, three of the six songs make it to your first yeah. real album or yeah. whatever, you know, not first. And but. the video description said, watch us, you know, making, first of all, right. it said the completion of the air album and then watch us through the evolution of the 12 songs. But so everything that's... on screen says made a EP. Yeah, I'm sure know? it means so, something. I'm just yeah, Let us know what, what, what we're missing there. But Thanks, friends. Let's go on to part dose. Thank you. How do you say part? Hello, part I am parte? Paulina Villarreal. I am 18 years old. I am the drummer for the band The Warning. My name is Alejandra Villarreal. I'm from Monterrey, Mexico, and I'm the bass player for the band The Warning. Monterrey. I'm Daniela Villarreal. I am the guitar player and lead singer of The Warning. Yes! So The Warning came to be in a very early stage of our lives. <laughs> we started playing classical piano at a very young Please age. Back it I think up. I was six stage. <gasps> Look at Pow! Look she's, at Pow! Oh my gosh, she's a spitting image of herself. She, you know? She's a you know spitting how, image of herself. You know how sometimes <laughs> when people are little and they grow up, they don't look the same? Like, yeah, she yeah, looks yeah. the exact same.
of our lives. <laughs> Look at Danny. Is that Danny? Uh, yeah. Oh my goodness. Am I tripping? Is that not Danny? Preciosa. Mm-hmm. So cute. <laughs> That's Pow too. Or is that, or is that Ale? Pao? I'm confused I now. I'm, just... I thought that was Danny, but she doesn't have like the, the smaller eyes like Danny. You know how Danny's eyes are like a little bit more, more like, like lines? More like dad, yeah. Yeah, like the dad's. Maybe this is all Pow, huh? I, I don't know. I'm terrible at seeing baby pictures and knowing who they are. I'm terrible at it. I started playing classical piano at a very young age. I think I was six. And Pow yeah, was. that was. That was <laughs> so her. I was, we started playing classical right? piano at a very young I know, age. Babe. I think I was six. Oh my gosh, the cuteness. I mean, honestly, they all look so similar, especially when they're little. It, it may be hard to tell. Like, for example, in some of the other videos we've seen with you guys, Ale and Pal look very similar when they're little in several pictures, but I don't but know. But this is maybe Danny we'll and Pal, right? Because Ale wouldn't have been able to stand. She would have been too, this big. Yeah, you know? baby. So cute. And she's playing the recorder. <laughs> Oh Remember learning that in yeah, Marlton yeah. Elementary School? Yep. And it's got a little, what is that, a tambourine? Yeah. Some kind of drum down there. They're adorable. Six and Pau was around four. It was a family environment of music. We started playing the piano when we were very young. We started with like classical music. Oh. And then we bought this video game, Rock Band. Guitar the Hero, Rock Band. Band. Yeah, yeah. Rock Band. Oh, I loved that. Oh my gosh. We used to get down to that, yeah. remember that? Yeah. When we bought the game, that was the moment when we were like, hey, we want to do that. We absolutely loved that video game. We played it all the time. I would just be like jumping around. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> that was such a great we face. We loved that video game. That was a game. metal we face. We played it all the time. Look at that face. And look at this face on the left. You got this face. She's concentrating. But that is metal right there. Are you there. sure? That, that's Danny, too, on the drums. That's Danny. That's yeah. Danny. Oh, yeah. yeah. Danny, Danny. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. This is great. You know, if we saw nothing else in these videos, just these baby pictures that made my just entire day. Awesome. Yeah. This is so cool. Yeah. I would just be like jumping around with my guitar. Pat would never let me play the drums because that was her thing and she was super good at it. And I was just like, no. When we bought the, the game, I noticed Paulina, and she was like, but, but in, uh, like, with so much coordination, and I told her like, look, look at Paulina. But you need to take into account that I was like six years old at that time. My next week, Paulina was in lessons. Oh my God. The thing with Danny was she wanted the guitar Bravo, because parents. of the rock band. But we knew that Ooh. it was going to be so you cute. You see, they started her the with the classical guitar. The rock band. Look at that. Nylon string classical guitar. Yes. You guys know what's up. Y'all did it the right way from start. Mm. But we knew that it was going to be difficult for her because she was eight years old. I asked my dad if I could play the guitar and he was like, are you sure? And I was like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and he said, six months. And by the week, I wanted to give up. <laughs> but she kept her promise and by that yes. time, she already started to love. I was about three when we got the rock band, so I didn't actually play. She was a baby. And it basically, when we were playing rock band, <laughs> I was clapping next to us. <laughs> I picked the bass when I was about like six or seven, and I was like, ooh, I want to play that. Don't know what it is, but I want to play it. And when she started playing the bass, we With started like thinking like, hey, these instruments, like we can play them together. We were like, oh, these three instruments actually make up a band. So we're like, we can start playing together. We said like, why, why? We should play something together. And that was it. We had no idea that we were gonna do what we're doing today. Like at so all. You made For us, EP. the decision to upload videos on YouTube was just like, we're gonna send it to our grandparents. <laughs> the file is too big, let's <laughs> upload it on YouTube and send them the link. But suddenly they started getting a lot of attention. All of a sudden it, it exploded. Our parents really reminded us that like this was for the music and we could use that to start writing our own music. Look at their I think writing that was notes. something that caused such a huge change in us from just like, let's play for fun to like, whoa. We're a band now. Not everything comes without its sacrifices. It was tons, tons, and tons, and tons of practice. Suddenly, yeah. 
You're not just a normal little teenager who goes to school, does her homework. You're playing shows, you're playing in festivals, oh. and you're playing wow. in front of a lot of people. Something that maybe like a lot of people my age take for granted, like going to parties, going to school, even like people who like, oh my god, I need to wake up at like 6 a.m. and go to school every day, was something that like we couldn't do. And I appreciate the support of my parents and all that they had to go through to get us to this point, because for them, it, it was just as hard. As a parent, you never know which one is the right path. We wanted to support them. Like any parent, just try to give them what makes them happy. We usually compare it what we're doing and what is happening and what could have happened. But as we started playing more shows and as more people started to show up, especially like at an international level, it was like that's where it really settled in. Like, whoa. Like, this is for real. We are so grateful that we have the opportunity to be playing these shows, working this way, writing music. Like, all these opportunities don't happen to a lot of people. Thanks to all of that yep. and all the sacrifice that we put through as a team. And not only us, but our parents and our management, all everyone. It's just so incredible and I'm very grateful. Not only that we did it, but that we, we were able to overcome it. Ooh, okay. If we weren't in a band, if we weren't in music in, in general, music in general, because we always get out of that question, like, oh, it would be a song right now. <laughs> like, what would you do out of music? Honestly, I think I would be a teacher. A teacher. A teacher. What kind you of would be a great you teacher? Would be such a good yeah, boss. You, you'd be a. a good, oh, thanks. Yeah. I, I would like to write. Yeah, I, no, I'd be a good you writer. You'd be a writer. I would Definitely. have to do something creatively. I, I couldn't. Yeah. Yeah. No, like a job office. I. I. I, I honestly mm -hmm. have no idea. <laughs> I think something, you would be something. a good model. Ah! Sure? <laughs> yeah. Not really good at posing, but you know, <laughs> you'd be a good work, model. I, I could work on you that. You got the so. height, you got the face. <laughs> you gotta work on that. <laughs> oh, so they're sweet. so cute. I love them so much. Oh my god. I, and I, I love that that was like a little bit more of like them not yeah. the process of the writing but yeah. it's just like where they're coming from and yep. stuff like that like i like that that's so cool yeah. one of the things i've always been impressed with with these girls is their humility and their appreciation and you can just tell and you always have been that they were raised right yes. you know they were raised with manners they were raised with hard work you know they were raised with all the right values and i love seeing the parents i just i just love them you guys yeah. know this this is like broken record territory but yeah, yeah. seeing this is just a reinforcement how much definitely yeah raised right yeah. like Moni Luis you guys did such yeah. an amazing job I mean selling your motorcycle to get them instruments like you know it's great to see the parents yeah. do that and then seeing this come out of it you know what I mean yep. like it's amazing not saying that if my mom would have got me a guitar then all of a sudden this would have been me <laughs> that wouldn't have happened because I probably would have given it up after two weeks like I did piano but I got my guitar anyways later <laughs> All right. Yeah. Are we ready for the third one now? We are ready okay. for the third one. Are you guys ready for the third one? Been ready. Let's go already. Come on. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Describe each other. each other. Okay, let's do power first. Creative. Outspoken. She's a spark. Um, she can also be a bit loud. It's the life of the party. <laughs> Energetic. I totally thought she was saying something else. Okay. She could also be a bit like when she said that, I was oh, like, Oh no. Are you really about to Come say on. that? And you know those girls enough to know they're not. I know, do that. but like the words, like yeah. it was right. I was like, oh my God. I what? think she meant to say like she can be a bit. Yeah, like, that's yeah. what she did say. Yeah. But like I because she's outspoken, she's a firecracker, and then no. the next thing was that. I was yeah. like, is she really gonna call her that? Like no. a spark. Um she can also be a bit loud. It's the life of the party. <laughs> Energetic. A great drummer, great singer. She really drives what's happening. She's she goes completely. <laughs> She's the much. leader, I How think. How is such a fan of music? Drummer, singer, writer, composer. Alpha. You know, right in your face. Alpha. But she's so lovable. I'm, I'm gonna take everything as a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> you. How would I describe myself though? LA is so humble and so talented. She's technically incredible. She can hang with the best of them. Very bold. She's observant and very persistent. You are scary at times, but that is very useful. <laughs> Yo, Ali with the eye rolls. She's the most reserved, but to be honest, she may be the most animated. You, Danny, you're very organized. Older sister, protector, the same as she asks of herself, which is a lot, she asks of the team. Discipline, persistent. She's a sweetheart. 
She's yeah. honestly super nice. Like, I don't know how she does it. <laughs> she's the heart. Very, very passionate. She, she's a boss. Danny is a powerhouse front woman. I mean, she's up there with the top voices of female rockers. She's the beacon of yeah. light and the darkness. Oh my god. Thank you guys. See? <laughs> so nice. And yeah. I got it. I'm scary. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, pause for a second, please. I feel like that it's fun to hear other people and themselves articulate that because that's the vibe that I feel we all get about them, right? Yeah, totally. You know, Danny being the heart of the whole band, even though Ale and Pau have their own roles that are like critical. I love that it's good to hear it's reinforced that other people feel the same way that I yeah, do. Totally. Yeah, totally. And, and like, I think if you didn't know them, most people would look at Danny and think that Danny is the leader. You know, she's the guitar player. She's the lead singer. Yeah. Uh, uh, Pow is the leader. Yeah. Ale is the heart. No. I mean, I mean, Danny is the heart. Yeah. Ale is just the one that everyone loves. Yeah. And she will destroy anybody on that base. I you know. know what I mean? Like, I still haven't been able to appreciate her technical brilliance as much. And that just means I need to see a lot more live stuff. I just love that she plays yeah. with her fingers. You know what Thanks I mean? For like, yeah, of course. Claro. Jumping from covers to like writing her own music was, I think it came very naturally. Pao yes. has been writing songs since she was like, I don't know, maybe even five. We will be like, I don't know, making lemonade. She was like, making lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> we started writing as like a little experiment and our first EP was basically those little experiments. Our main focus for writing is rock and roll, but that doesn't mean that we don't listen or learn from any other genre. Metal. I listen to a lot of K-pop and I also listen to a lot of um, Japanese rock since it's so different. Yeah. I listen to a lot of classical music. I listen to a lot of alternative music. I listen to a lot of K-pop. I love rock and roll wow. for its energy and I wouldn't change that for our our band, but it's great also to learn from all the different types of music that there's all around the world. Good. I really like that's you great. know that's very interesting because metal was not mentioned at all, mm -hmm. which there's nothing wrong with that because they are they're a rock band and it's it's evident. And also, this is a little bit older, so I don't know what they have been listening to since then. Yeah, but I know that new album has absolutely some metal vibes. Yeah that you wouldn't hear in just rock music. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. And so I'm wondering if they don't listen to metal, where are they getting that from? I, I think just like all the rest of us, like we continue to evolve as humans and at each age, what it may not be every year of your life, but you listen to different things. You know, I listen to much more heavy stuff now than I ever would have listened to as a teenager. Yeah. So they're I wonder if evolving. They, I wonder if they did evolve you know, into that. Or, you know, also, you know, when you're just sitting there jamming, like freestyle, like that. that's one thing I do. Like I don't learn songs. I like to sit and just freestyle and come up with something. And, you know, you may not be listening to a certain genre, but something that you play may be reminiscent of that genre. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so they may be writing stuff that sounds like metal and they're not listening to metal. It's just what's coming out of them. Mm -hmm. They just exude yeah. metal. You know what I mean? Like yeah. rock and metal. Mm -hmm. It's cool. I, I wonder, cool. I, I want to ask them. Hopefully we get to do an interview with them. I would love to talk to them. We didn't do the meet and greet tickets because, you know, I don't feel right. Like there's so many fans that love them so much. Like, I don't want to take away from them. You know what I mean? Let them get the experience to meet them. Hopefully we get to, um, but I want to ask them if they listen to any kind of metal and if so, what, what metal, what's their favorite metal band? Yeah. Maybe there's more current stuff where they actually yeah, say, I don't know. This is a little old. I know. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. Like it, the chorus is really good. from all the different types of music that there's all around the world. Good. I really liked it. The chorus is really good. And I think that one of the best things about this is that you put really quick melodies that go up and down very quickly. And in like Korean language, like that works so well because they have like so many like syllables. So creatively, it's what? all them. The way they work is they start writing and composing, and then they get together, then they rehearse, and they don't show us anything. As for what we huh. speak about in our songs, well, most of the times they come from Pao's brain, and mm -hmm. we're just like, that's genius, and we kind of tweak it out and make the song appropriate to that feeling that we're talking about. So I usually just sit on the piano, and I just 
play something until something comes out. And then I show Danny and Ali the song. Yeah. I try to pitch it as best as I can. So they're like, oh my God, that's a great song. Let's work on it. <laughs> Pal's the one who has like that muscle, that creativity to just like whoo, create little words out of nowhere. We start working on it. We start adding the drums, the guitars, the bass, and we're all very involved in that process. And it's really fun because I know I play the bass, but I don't do my bass parts alone. Like, Paul helps me and Danny helps me, and it's the same for the drums, the vocals, and the guitars. Since we are yeah. very, very opinionated, we like to be in each and every part of the process. So we're doing bass lines, we're bass? all there. Yes. Each second yeah. is important. We're all very involved in every part of the process, which I think makes every song unique, and it sounds like us. Honestly, we get along so well, but the only moments where we have like fights is when we're writing because we have yeah. such oh. different opinions about what a song should be. Yep. It's up to votes. Two people, you win. We work really, really well because we have this uh, honesty to our communication. We do have like that clear line between like bandmates and sisters. You need to look at it as like what's best for the band and not like, oh my God, like you're turning your back on me. Like I'm your sister. No, 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 like we're working. Seeing them in the studio so grown up. interact as That's awesome. bandmates and as sisters was really cool. It's just such a deeper level of connection. They know exactly what they need to do to support each other in all situations. When someone's cutting a vocal, when someone's cutting a guitar, like if it's going well or if there's hesitation, there's just like that sister connection was so cool to see that level of support. I they're bet. sisters. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how else to put it. It's like obvious that they're sisters. That they have each other's back. They finish each other's sentences, or or they say the same thing at the same time. When you're yeah. in a band, it's like you can break up. If this band were to disband, like they're still gonna be sisters. And no matter how heated or you know how big of a deal oh. any of this Excuse is, me. To Sorry, any guys. Of us, I don't think it's more important than their family to them. I'm so glad that we started writing our own music because there's like nothing that I love more. That's what we like doing the most, you know, inspiring people with our own music. And I have found out that my like comfort zone is writing from the heart. It's literally, if I'm feeling a very strong emotion, the song right. comes Right, yes, yes. I, oh, that was so fast. I am <laughs> with you on that, yeah. Boy, that went so fast for I know. three of those. I know, and sorry, I know. It was automatically going to the next one, but um, only three today, guys. We'll come three back next, next week. week. Yeah. Thank you very much, Chaz. This was awesome. Thanks, you buddy. are a rock star. Yeah. This was this was cool. Yeah. Like I, I just love hearing them and hearing their process, <laughs> and it's just it's so relatable. I mean, for me, it's very relatable. Mm -hmm. You know, like that last part where they were talking about like songwriting and that's the only time like they fight like yeah it just took me back into the days of being in the band with like with like matt you know like mm. matt and i always connected you know but we had some you know some discrepancies with with myself and the bass player like we just came from different styles of music and whereas i wanted to write fast da -da -da -da, crazy stuff and he wanted more like doom slow metal like mm. i don't know how to write that so we had some clashes and when you love a certain part it's hard to get give that up one of your favorite lines kill your darlings yeah we had to kill our darlings sometimes Tough. and and it's really hard and when you're in a band you're you're married to each other now they're they're family so it's literal family they're not married they're literally family but we were married to each other so you get in fights and then you have good days and then you yeah. jam and yeah it's just it, it's fun to see this because it bet. just brings me back yeah. into that realm that I'm not really in anymore. Yeah. So what did you think about about the videos? You know, all the kind of things I was saying throughout. I just love these girls so much and seeing even though we've like heard their mo more current stuff and now we're going backwards and watching the making of, it's just putting all pieces together. And every time I see them, it's a joy. I learned something new. I loved seeing their parents. The baby pictures. The baby pictures were like the the, my pictures. most favorite thing. And I have more clarity every time I watch one of these type of videos about them and their process. And it's just really fun. And I'm so appreciative that they let us into their world to see all of this. I mean, they're working so 
so hard. And I'm gonna say it again, I've said this before, I just really hope that they have time a week here and there to be able to have a life outside of the rock star life. Yeah, because definitely. they worked hard for it, but I don't want them to burn out. And um, that's all I'm gonna say about it. Yeah, definitely, yeah. absolutely. And you know, one kind of funny thing that just made me think about it, and um, we're gonna put Ninja on the spot here. Oh boy. Matt, when I was over there, we were working on some stuff with, uh, with him and uh, his Shallow Sky stuff. And he was like, you know, we should do our own cover playthroughs of a warning song. That'd be fun. And he was talking about doing sharks with him on drums, Ooh. me on guitar, but uh, we don't have a bass player. I know, I know. I, I I had a feeling this was coming. Do you want to be Ale? We can put you. We could like glue like twelve telephone books <laughs> to your feet and stand hey you now. up a little bit more. And uh, but uh, if you want to play determined. some bass, mm. you know, we might. We we should do like a little sharks playthrough. It'll be fun. It would be fun. It's not too complicated. Better dust off the old guitars. Yeah, yeah. mine mine are. Would right you guys there. want to see that? Oh my gosh, let it would us be know. hilarious. I think it would be the hilarious. three of us jamming. We'd have to get somebody to sing. <laughs> You want to sing and play bass at the same Absolutely time? Absolutely not. <laughs> All right, y'all. We're going to get on out of here. I can't even talk. We're going to get on out of here, my friends. Thank you again, Chaz, and everybody Thanks, else out there. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up and that subscribe button. Thanks. And we will see y'all shortly, my friends. Next morning, Wednesday. Peace. Peace.